Hello everybody, this is a Lamley preview. This just arrived from Mattel. There's only one item in here. That's the code. This is gonna be exclusive to Walmart. We'll give away all the details. It is the Car Culture Factory set, the first of four that will be released online at Walmart throughout the year. Like I said, Mattel just sent this so I can show it to you. I haven't seen it. I believe maybe there was a, uh, it's, some images have uh, leaked, but uh, who cares? We're gonna look at this. I am very excited to look at it, kind of see what they're doing. They're really getting more and more creative with uh, you know some of the sets that they're doing. And oh, we'll just talk about it. Oh, they, there it is. There it is. Boy, this is, this is cool. All right, I'm gonna be, this is all new to me. This is all new to you. So we're just gonna open it up. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna talk about it. And we're gonna see what it is. The first thing I gotta do is get it out of here. And uh, let's see how to do that. Here it is, got it out of the box. Took a little bit, but we did it. This is the new Car Culture Factory Set, number one of four, as you can see right here. Car Culture Team Transport Factory Set. Look at this box. Now this is, um, like I said, Team Transport Car Culture. This is a replacement. They're no longer doing the Walmart factory sets. If you've, some of you like the, like at the end of the year, just to give you a little background, Hot Wheels will sell the factory set on the Mattel Creations or RLC, whatever you want to call it, with every basic car they've released with a factory sticker. Um, and that includes store exclusives, super treasure hunts, regular treasure hunts, all of that. Walmart had been doing a version of this, only the only thing about it was it wasn't entirely complete because other store exclusives like Kroger, Target, Dollar General, all those didn't weren't included. It was only uh, basics with supers, which was cool, but also only the uh, Zamax and the Walmart exclusives. So Hot Wheels, Walmart, whoever just discontinued this, and this is what's going to be coming out instead. As you can see, as I put here, you've got the first set, American, was this American scene? And then you have Deutschland design and you have the chases included. This is the only way to get a chase model online, like to specifically buy one. These sets, I know the factory sets at Walmart in the in previous years sold out so quickly. So I'd imagine these will too, but uh, I'm gonna definitely show this for you. Here's the cover, the, the cover is kind of cool. The top of it says car culture. You've got some sort of racing kind of artwork there in the background and I should just stop talking and uh, cut this open. One, two, and I'm assuming three to break the seal. And uh, let's get this. I think we are good to go. Here we are. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit and a little bit higher so we can kind of see what's inside. Not much to look at here, but we'll just start taking things out. I'm assuming, yep, this is, this is kind of cool. These are done as individual boxes. And then if we open it up here, we'll take, I'm assuming this is a filler piece, it is. And then open this up, open this up. And I'm assuming this is our team transport. All right. I'm gonna open up the boxes, but I'm gonna try and put this back because we've got them, you know, I'm not gonna open up the actual products, but let's go in order, right? This is the first one we pulled out. And I think we're going to have to cut that open too. So maybe I just have to open one side. And this is American scene. So these are well packaged and we can just look at the models and we start with the chase, right? It is, it is number zero of five. So we've got the Corvette C8R here. That is the chase. We've already seen these, but uh, yeah. And then, well, this isn't, doesn't appear to be totally in order. There's the Bronco Dodge Charger Hellcat. I don't see any, anything that suggests that this is any different. Like there's not a factory sticker. So I assume you could, you know, 
replace this if you wanted to, but uh, we're just, you know, looking at the models. Oop, this is kind of stuck together. Chevelle, which is a, I really like this set. It was kind of, I think, a little underrated because there was no new casting in it, but it was the first thing to introduce the chases, right? And then finally the Tesla Roadster. Happy to see everything intact. Sometimes these factory sets have had some messed up blisters and things like that, but uh, this looks pretty good. So that is the American Scene set. This is obviously going to be Deutschland design. Let's get that one open. I do like these sets like you know it really depends on how you collect I prefer all my models loose but having these all kind of in com compact sets you know I'm going to put this all back together so I'm going to try to all right Let's see if we have the chase first Oop. nope there's the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in blue. This seems to be, from what I can tell outside of the chase, the most popular model. Seems to go the quickest. Here, let's do that. There's your chase. 2012 Mercedes Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series, number zero of five. Brand new casting and the chase. Black Series in black, you can't argue with that one. This was my favorite of the set, the 1994 AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM Touring Car. I just, this casting with all of the details is just so beautiful. Audi underrated. So I am noticing, you know, there's always some, this looks like when they pack these, see there was a little bit of, these were stuck together. I don't know if that's just, you know, when it gets packed, but that's just something to be aware of when you at this set you don't want to see that damage that's a little disappointing to see right there right but i guess because you don't have the sticker if you can find this model and get a clean version and replace it why not right still though that doesn't <laughs> that's not an excuse for some of that but um but we'll see as, as other people are able to buy this. i don't know when this set is coming out um on walmart maybe it already is and i would imagine you got to be ready it's because it will it will sell very quickly i don't know how many are made I do know that it's going to be $150, so do the math on that if that's uh, worth it to you. Um, if each model is, what, $650, something like that, do the multiplication plus the team transport, and let's look at that, and then we'll be done with this set. Like I said, four others, so those that uh, love mountain drifters, right, there's, uh, wow, look at this. Um, that will be in the next mix. It'll be mountain drifters and probably exotic envy, right? plus the uh, Team Transport with the Porsche and the, uh, <clears throat> move that out of the way, and the Liberty Walk, right? Okay, so nothing really uh, exciting. I mean, exciting, these are nice sets, but I what I'm really curious about is the quality of the, you know, make sure there's no damage to these because this is a very cool way to keep these sets. To be honest, like, I could have a loose, you know, my loose models that I have on display and then this all kind of put away. It's kind of nice. I, I just like the extra attention they're giving to car culture because I do think it is the best thing that uh, Mattel does. If I have one, one uh, critique of this, put the factory set stickers on it. That's what I would say. Just to differentiate, especially if you're going to open up this set, having the factory set sticker on it would be nice. But ultimately, I think this is a very, very cool way to have a full collection of car culture. It is, to me, all due respect to RLC, which I think is fantastic. This is the signature Hot Wheels uh, product these days, is car culture. Team Transport's part of it. You can add Boulevard, you can add the Fast and Furious, at least when they were doing it. Um, really cool premium stuff, but this is the best thing that they've, I think Hot Wheels has ever done, to be honest, um, is car culture. And uh, giving it this kind of premium treatment, I think is fantastic too. You guys tell me what you think. There it is. Thank you, Mattel, for sending it. If I ever find out when it's going to be on Walmart Online, I will let you know, but I would start checking now because once they hit, they're going to go fast. Thanks, everybody. Bye.